I was mentally prepared to have sinus surgery and I get a call from my ENT and he says, are you sitting down? I'm like, yeah. He said, well, um, the radiologist found um, that you have a cyst in your brain. My name is uh, Kostas Hadjapanias. I'm a neurosurgeon uh, here at Emory University. My focus is on brain tumors and spinal tumors. What separates us from other brain tumor centers is, is the collective team approach, our academic focus, our ability to proceed forward with clinical trials that are involving novel therapies. And the other thing is also our ability to apply different technologies for uh, brain tumor resections that I feel other places don't have this time. The cyst was already large enough that it was cutting off the flow of spinal fluid to the rest of my body. And the headaches that I assumed were sinus related were actually because I had this big cyst in my brain. For the deep-seated cystic tumors in the brain, the standard approach is a craniotomy where a larger incision is placed on the scalp and a piece of the skull flap is removed. Well, with endoscopy, we're able to make a two and a half centimeter linear incision right at the hairline on the forehead. Put our camera down uh, through a passageway into the ventricle, which is the natural cavity in the brain. With the camera and light source, we're able to visualize the anatomy to completely remove a deep-seated cystic tumor. It was amazing because I was only in the hospital, I think it was three nights for brain surgery. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> With the endoscopic approach, there's less risk for neurologic injury because of less exposure of the brain. And patients are, are able to return back to work much sooner and really resume their normal activities of daily living. I'm actually the only neurosurgeon performing endoscopic resection of colloid cyst in Georgia. For the deep-seated cystic tumors in the brain, Endoscopy has revolutionized the ability to treat some of these patients.